Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So it's been a few weeks and we are now up to part 7 of our heavy water extraction series. We've made quite considerable progress since last time. Uh, what were we at last time? Like a little bit over 10 millilitres of water. And at this stage, at the start of this video, uh, we're down to six millilitres. Uh, you can see, oh well, you can't see yet, I'll show you in a bit. We've got about two millilitres of water left in this cell. Uh, you'll notice that this cell looks a little bit different to what I was using in the last video, but I don't know, I built another one and this one seems to work really well. So I'm sticking with this to concentrate the heavy water down. So we've got two millilitres in there and I've got just about four more millilitres in this vial here. And what we're just about to do is add all of that to this sample and then we'll have all six millilitres in there and we'll just electrolyze that straight down to around about two millilitres when we'll have to distill it. So the cell really is just a plastic tube which I kind of uh, melted before with uh, my heat gun. Uh, and what I've got is just an iron nail uh, inserted into the bottom there and a solder electrode also as the anode and I've just siliconed both of those down the bottom there and it seems to hold water fine so it's been working really well we've got our electrical connections the end of the nail for the cathode and then just this wire for the anode and uh, I've got a tube plugged into the top with some Teflon which hopefully catches all of the evaporated water that comes off the cell it hasn't caught anything yet so I'm actually assuming that there's actually no water evaporating right through the system, which is very good because I've been uh, running it at such a low current that really it shouldn't heat up at all. So what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks is I've really just been putting four milliliter samples of water into this tube uh, and electrolyzing those down to two milliliters, taking it out, swapping it out. And so now we've got six milliliters uh, with that four milliliters over there and the two milliliters here of a relatively constant concentration, which we should now be able to put all of it in this cell and just start electrolyzing all of that straight down. And we should be pretty close to being done very soon. So I've gone ahead and taken the condenser tube out of the cell. And all we need to do now is just pipette this water very carefully uh, into the cell. And this should all fit in. Nice. So there's not much else to say. Uh, this is pretty much just ready to go for further electrolysis. I'll stick it down in the big orange tub. We've now done a full week of electrolysis uh, since the last cut. And you probably can't see uh, on the little cell, but we were up to around six millilitres up here, and we've electrolyzed that down. Kind of see there, if the camera will focus. Right there is the water line, and we're at around about a bit less than three millilitres maybe. So we've reached the point now where it's probably a good idea to distill some of that water, seeing as we are approaching um, the saturation point of the sodium carbonate electrolyte. So I'll go ahead and pet all of that water out of there, put it in one of these little vials to show you how much we've got left, and then we'll uh, distill some of it using our small scale distillation apparatus that we made in the last video. And there it is. I've measured it out to be pretty much exactly three millilitres. That's all we've got left. So what I'm gonna do now is transfer most of this water uh, into a second vial. A little bit more, maybe that much. So I'll save whatever's in here, and I won't actually distill that. Uh, we'll save that and keep that as the electrolyte for the next uh, little stage of electrolysis. So that'll just have enough uh, sodium carbonate to keep the cell running right till the end, probably. And we'll distill this uh, in order to get rid of all of the sodium carbonate that is in, uh, well, this fraction of our water. To be safe, I've decided to only uh, distill about 
maybe two thirds of a milliliter at a time. So take just a little bit of that, put that in this vial, uh, which we use to actually boil uh, the water. You can see I've got a few rocks in the bottom there to act as boiling chips. And we'll go ahead and just put this over on the hot plate, uh, ready for distillation. Now this is all set up. We've got our water uh, in the flask here. We've got our condenser tube, nice and short. Hopefully we'll get most of the water out. We've got our collection flask over here in this nice cold water. All this I have to do is turn on the hot plate and wait for it to boil. And that is boiling very nicely. So we should be done in no time. It's all condensing up here, you can see. The camera will focus on the right thing, probably not. Oh well, we should get a few drops of water coming through any time now. It is kind of bubbling a bit weirdly, and we might be getting a few like bubbles going through the whole apparatus. I think we might need to distill it again, but that's all right. We'll get around to that a bit later. Either way, we are getting a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, a few drops coming over. Uh, so that's good. We're not losing water out the top of here or just out of the flask, so that's good. And that is the distillate from the first run. I think we got pretty much all of the water, so that's very good. Now we just got to do the rest of it. Second distillation is going nicely as well. Now I've put a little bit of paper towel on the top of the condenser tube, which I can just squirt with a little bit of water to keep it nice and cool. Make sure we get all of the water that's coming across. And we'll just go ahead and add that to whatever we collected last time. You can see we are definitely leaving behind a whole bunch of sodium carbonate, which is exactly what we want. That there is the result of two distillations. We've only got one more to go. And there we go. I think that worked pretty well. We got all of that water distilled out of three distillation runs with that little vial and tiny little condenser tube. So I think that's pretty good. That's pretty much all of it. So we will just add this uh, relatively pure water back to uh, the electrolyte that we saved. So while I think we did a pretty good job with the distillations, I can see now that we lost about a third of our heavy water doing that. Uh, so that's really not good, very disappointing, but you know, we do have a bit left, so hopefully there's enough deuterium in that uh, to you know, have a little bit left over at the end when we're finished. And it's back in the big orange bucket. Uh, it should be going nicely now. Uh, let's see, what's the current? 30 milliamps at three and a half volts. That should actually be done by next week. So we'll just let that go and next week we might actually have a sample of relatively pure heavy water. It's now been another week of continuous electrolysis and I think we might actually be done. If it'll focus on the right thing. Yeah, look at that. There's not much water left now. I think that's as good as we're going to get, so I might as well just pipette that out of the container. We'll redistill it and we'll see if that's actual heavy water. And there it is. A little less than half a milliliter of water. All that's left to do is try to distill that and then we might just have ourselves some heavy water. And I think that looks good for a distillation. So we'll go ahead and just turn on the hot plate and hopefully in a couple of minutes we'll have some nice pure highly enriched heavy water to still over. Just starting to slowly heat up now. You can see it's already evaporating quite quickly so we're getting close. Just starting to boil now. Excellent. Another minute later and we can see a few drops forming in the condenser tube. Go! Yeah! 
That is our first drop of enriched heavy water. So at least we've got something, you know? We didn't lose all of it. We actually got pretty good recovery, I think. There's still a little bit in the tube and there's a little bit left boiling just now. But that was a very well behaved distillation and we got a fair bit of it. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that is it. That's what we got. So I've transferred it to another one of these vials. Uh, just to check that we have distilled it properly. It is pure water. I'll go and put it in the freezer and see if it freezes solid. In our distillation, we may have uh, you know, brought some of the sodium carbonate electrolyte over with the distillate. So to check that, we can check the pH of it with some pH paper and we'll check the conductivity of the water to see if it's conductive at all. Uh, if it's basic, we know that we've got some sodium carbonate left in there and if it's conductive, uh, well more conductive than regular distilled water, we know that it isn't pure enough. So let's try that. So first of all, we'll just get a very, very, very small bit of our water, like a drop or less, and we'll check the pH. Wow, all right. Well, that is considerably basic and that means that there's a whole lot of sodium carbonate left in the water. So that means we need to distill it again. Um, yeah, but I'm a little bit sick of distillations at this stage. So yeah, so um, we'll leave it there. Uh, next time, next video, we will redistill that. Hopefully we won't lose all of it and then we will actually test whether or not this is heavy water. Because right now, with our solution of sodium carbonate, some of the sodium carbonate went through our uh, distillation condenser tube, we're not actually able to tell whether we have heavy water or not. So next week, we'll do it all again and then we'll do some actual tests. See you later.